on fucking Mars. If the sky's your limit, then you'll never go far. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back. And today we're taking a look at this new um, DLC that came out. So this is the Sangres character pack. Um, we're taking a look at each weapon, not all today, but you know, today, and then in two days we'll be taking a look at the Akimbo version. Um, basically today we're taking a look at the Castigo 44, which I happen to rename to the No Mama's Way. Now, me being the stereotypical person I am, which this, let's talk about this real quick before I get into the recording. I'm so glad this DLC is for free because honestly, I would not pay for this DLC. I mean, sure the weapons are cool, but the fact that they made this character who is a Mexican cartel member so stereotypical made me think like, I wouldn't buy this shit, honestly. Like, and I'm not offended or anything. It's just like, I don't like stereotypical Mexicans. I live in an area where I have three Mexican neighbors who are stereotypical as fuck. Like, this is going to sound racist, and I can already tell people are going to get mad. But they're the average Mexicans you think of. Like, they're always drinking. They're always starting shit. So it's like, having that character in a game I really love is like, I don't want it. And I'm just glad this DLC is for free. But I end up calling the gun the No Mama's Way. And me being me, I'm like, what does this even mean? I hear it all the time. Mexicans always say this to each other. So I decided to look it up, and Urban Dictionary came through. Top definition, no mames way. A Spanish slang phrase commonly used by Mexicans. Way means a jerk slash other translation for way are dude, bro, punk, and more. But young Mexican people use this to address their friends in a teasing manner. The whole phrase no mames way translates as you must be kidding, man. But most people use it referring to its other definitions such as don't fuck with me or don't give me shit. Now... I don't really care for any of those definitions, but I just thought, you know, it's hilarious. Let's just call it that. What's the worst that could happen? Now, before we get on with stats, I'm going to show you how I have mine modded. I have the Diablo barrel, which adds 8 accuracy. Uh, it looks all right, but here's what it normally looks like. Pretty cool barrel. It looks like a normal revolver, but with the thing, it changes, and it's kind of like whatever. Not really that good, but I don't really care about looks. I'm here more for how it affects the gun. So I have the Diablo barrel. Do not have a boost on it, but I do have a cruise grip. So both of these grips, the Carnival Carnival grip, which makes it look black, you know, nothing that special, but adds a stability. But then there's the cruise grip, which adds a stability and gives it these spikes with this cross with duct tape on it. The cruise grip is basically the Carnival grip, but with spikes on it and the cross. So it's kind of whatever. I don't know. Um... On with the stats. It has a magazine of 6. You cannot increase it. Once again, it's a 6-shot revolver. Actually, you can increase it if you have a certain skill. I don't remember which one, but I don't have that skill. I it has total ammo of 54. I have 68 because of my skills. Rate of fire, 261. I have 542. Damage of 180. I have 194, which, you see, it does more damage than the um, Bronco 44. And both are 44 revolvers. Um... Accuracy of 76, I have 92. Stability of 4, I have 12. Concealment of 28. Threat of 24. And reload time of 3 seconds. So, we'll be right back and we'll see how this gun acts. Okay, so guys, we're back with Safe House Raid. This one popped up and I'm like, eh, might as well use it. Let's see what we can do. Um, we're going to switch out our gun to something else. I don't know. The captain, I don't know. I haven't used this gun in a long time and I want to use it again. Um, one thing you may notice is I am recording at 1080p, 30 frames per second. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I don't want to spend hours rendering it, so I might as well put it in lower frame rate. So here's what the gun looks like. It has a really nice, easy-to-see sight. As you see, not really that bad. It's really open, really clear. I enjoy it. Um, I used this gun for a little bit last night. I just wasn't in the mood to play Payday 2 last night, though, so I stopped playing. But the gun did pretty good, actually. Oh, excuse me. Um... Now you see, it's a headshot machine. Obviously, a headshot's in a kill in, like, one hit. Um, reload, pretty nice. Not too amazing. But really good, accurate gun. It has accuracy of 96, I believe. I believe that's what I had it at. You see, this thing, you just get headshots for days. And... Kind of spammable trigger, not really. Um, reload time is going to be what gets you, though. But then again, um, I don't have any reload skills for uh, pistols, but you could easily get them. Um, I'm saying, if you were to rock this gun, definitely look into um, reload skills. 
Uh, another problem it has is you can't attach a sight or a laser to it. Um, I know not many people run lasers. I usually do because it just suits my playstyle. You know, I could just run around, have a laser on, and just put the laser on an enemy and just shoot. Get rid of them. But if you're good, you could actually you don't even need a laser actually. But obviously I'm not good. It's been a long time since I played Payday 2. Jesus Christ. It's been way too long. I need to play some more. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played Payday 2, and they're about to steal all my bags if I let them, so we're not running out anymore. But this is not a bad gun. Along with every other revolver in the game, because we have, what, four now? We have the Bronco, the Metever, the uh, revolver that came with the World... Not with the World War II pack, the, um, the revolver that came with the... Jeez, what was that? The Indian pack. Not it's not the Indian pack, it's the um Kim the crossbows and stuff. Or the bows and arrows. The Western pack? There we go. Um yeah, it's not brings the total of revolvers up to four, but I feel this is probably the best one, except, you know, the reload. That's just about it. The Metever well no, technically I would prefer the Metever because you can put a laser sight on it and Laser sights just suit my um, playstyle because obviously I can run around. I don't even have to aim. I just put that red dot on someone's head and just pull the trigger. Here you kind of have to guesstimate where they are. Which if you play Payday 2 enough, you instantly know where um, the gun's going to shoot. But come on, when's the last time I played Payday 2? It's been like two weeks now. At least two weeks now. But let's see. Bulldozer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five shots to a bulldozer's face to get rid of them. Not bad, that's about average. This does two extra damage compared to the um, Bronco 44 though. And against the Metever, I don't even remember because I forgot to check that. But it's not a bad revolver. Um, mod wise, it doesn't have a lot of mods, you know, it's just like the um, just like the Bronco, so. This gun could be considered a reskin of the Bronco though. I mean, the recoil even looks the same, actually. Except the reload is completely different. The Bronco's reload has a more, like, fluid look to it. This one's is more like... It doesn't look like he knows what he's doing, in a sense. Like, obviously reloading a revolver isn't hard, but his hands look like he's... It just doesn't look fluid. That's the best way I could put it. Like, it doesn't look natural. It looks faked, in a sense. Um, I don't know what it's like when you have a, well, technically you do use a speed reloader, but if you have speed skills, I have no idea what it would look like. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you watch someone else's videos, like, I'm pretty sure General McBadass, when he did his review or his video on it, he probably has, like, pistol skills on it, so, you know, you could probably go look over there. Honestly, I don't watch anyone else's videos, because when it comes to, if I do some series in the same vein as someone else, like, me and General McBass basically do the same videos, but I don't watch his videos because, you know, I'd rather give my opinion and, you know, I don't want to watch his video and subliminally say something or get the same idea as him. I'll wait till after I'm done with this video, then I'll go watch it, but I'm fairly certain General McBass showed you what it's like with skills on. But it's not a bad gun. Like I'm saying, the only bad thing about it is the reload, but accuracy-wise, damage-wise, it's great. As you saw, five shots to a bulldozer's face. Probably four if you have a few more pistol skills. I'm not even sure. Once again, I run SMGs most of the time, so I don't even look at pistol skills. Um, but as you see... Oh, another thing that the Bronco has that this one doesn't is the scope mount. So on this, you can't have an iron... You can only use the iron sights. You can't have a red dot sight, which... I'm fairly certain most people don't run red dots on a revolver, but... If you are one of those people who do... Unfortunately, you can't with this gun. So you might find it as a negative. You might find it as a positive. I don't know. Really makes no difference to me because I'm saying I don't run red dots. The only red dot I would like to run on a revolver is the pistol red dot, but you can't, unfortunately. I'm saying, I'm sorry. I've It's been a long time since I played Payday 2. Honestly, recently I've been playing nothing but um, 
Killing Floor 2, because they had the double XP weekend this past weekend, so... I've just been trying to grind out the Medic class, because I don't like playing as the Medic. So, I ended up ranking up a lot, actually, so... You know, I'm used to running shotguns and SMGs and assault rifles, not really the pistols. So Black Dozer, we're not even going to tempt him. We know that if we get up in his face with the revolver, he's getting rid of us. I mean, even with the fucking rifle, he still is a threat. But the Castigo 44, it has a place. You could use it. Obviously, you want to have better aim. But you could spam it. It has good accuracy. has a decent recoil. Like I'm saying, these sights are actually my favorite sights out of any handgun in the whole game. I definitely have to go with these sights. Um, really easy to get a sight line with them. Easy to get headshots from far away. has the accuracy. It has, I guess, the stability. Once again... You can spam it, but stability really isn't that needed in revolvers. I mean, take a look at the um, the Western Pack revolver. Not really that good when it comes to um, not really that good when it comes to stability. Honestly, that gun goes everywhere. But this one has a nice blend of stability. Oh Jesus Christ! We should have brought a better primary. Like, the reload, once again, it's not bad. It's just not the best reload. I mean, sure, it's not as bad as the um, the Western Pack Revolver, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. And then we're going to have a new uh, grenade we'll talk about in later videos. But that grenade right there, man, that's a good secondary to have, or a good grenade to have. But, yeah, we're pretty much done here. I'll come back in the end because I actually want to see how this gun ranks up against other revolvers. So, I'll see you guys in a second.